Some people think that a PV plant doesn't uh, need maintenance, but this is not true. The strategy of the maintenance of a PV plant, a uh, photovoltaic plant, uh, is uh, a condition-based maintenance. It doesn't mind that uh, it's not necessary to do nothing. It's necessary to check the plant. How to check uh, a PV plant? We have three techniques, three different techniques to inspect a PV plant. After an inspection, we detect the points that has problem and we emit an incident. Uh, after this incident, after someone analyzes the incident, they must convert uh, the incident in a work order. The techniques to uh, check a PV plant are three. The first one is the detailed inspection, the field inspection. The second one is the inspection made with some special devices. It's what we call sometimes predictive maintenance, but it's not uh, really predictive maintenance. And the third uh, one is the inspection that we do in the SCADA system, in our control system. Starting with the first one, uh, what is necessary to inspect in a detailed inspect, uh, inspection. Remember, it's a visual inspection, but what is necessary to check? Well, it's necessary to check the modules, it is necessary to check the structure, it is necessary to check the wires, uh, it is necessary to check the inverters, it is necessary to check the transformation center with all the devices inside of this uh, transformation center, the meteorological station, the different meteorological station that we have in the installation, and finally, it is necessary to check the substation. Module, structure, inverters are normally arranged in strings. Then it's necessary to check string by string in a plan, and every string has at least 50 or 60 points to uh, check. Do you want to know the content of this checklist? Please uh, write us a comment and we can send to you or we can inform how to obtain this checklist. Second activity is uh, all the measurement that we take with uh, special devices. Uh, our thermography, the second one is the electroluminescence, the third one is the analysis of the uh, EB curve and the electrical uh, measurement as uh, the uh, ground resistance or the isolation test. Finally, in the SCADA, we need to check in a daily basis we need to check some parameters. These parameters are power, are uh, intensity and voltage for every string, one by one. Every string, every subfield and every field, every solar field. And we need to compare all this data with the model, with a, a solar model. And uh, we need to determine uh, the performance, the performance ratio uh, is reached. Lot of inspection that you need to do in a monthly base or in a, a quarterly base. Do you want to know more? Please write us a comment or write us a, a info arroba renovetech.com.